everyone, um, I'm Kat from Crafted by Kat and um, in this video today I'm going to be showing you how to make the twisted ear warmer. Um, we've got two sizes here to show you, this is for the adult and this is for a child. Um, you can make these to any size you want really, I'll show you how in the video. So you need some Aran weight yarn, this is a paint box special Aran uh, in blush pink a five millimeter crochet hook, um, your some scissors just to cut your yarn and a darning needle. Okay, so to begin, uh, you wanna start with a slip knot. So drape your yarn over your fingers, pull up a loop, and then pull your tail through the loop. And that creates a slip knot. Uh, insert your hook and pull it tight. So now I'm gonna make an adult size headband here. Um, so I'm going to chain a total of 70, um, so that'd be 68 stitches and then an extra two for my turning chain. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if you just carry on all the way up to 70 and I'll meet you back. Okay, so we've got our starting chain and um, you can see that that measures about 19 inches um, before the stretch um, and it will stretch to about 21 inches. Um, this will expand slightly when you start your half double crochet, but I think you want to aim for about one inch um, smaller than your head size. So just move this out of the way. So, we have the two extra stitches as our turning chain and we want to make our first stitch in the third chain from the hook. So we're making a half double crochet into the third chain. So if you yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over again, and pull through the stitch and yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. So let's do that again. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, Yarn over, pull through three. And again. Okay, so just gonna do that all the way to the end of the chain. Okay, so I finished my first row. And then to begin the second row, you're going to chain two. So this is just your turning chain, it doesn't count as a stitch. And then in the very first stitch, you're going to half double crochet through both loops. So that just keeps your edges nice and neat. But then for every other stitch along the row, you're going to half double crochet in the back loop. So you see you've got the front loop here and the back loop there. So I'll just show you slowly. So insert your hook into the back loop. Yarn over, yarn over, pull through. I'll show you again. Insert your hook into the back loop. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through three. So I'm just going to repeat that to the end of the row. And this creates the nice ribbing effect of the headband. So you can see there starting there. Okay, so carry on. Back loop, half double crochet to the end of the row. And then in your very last stitch, just as you did at the beginning, you want to um, half double crochet through both loops to keep the end nice and neat. Okay, I'll meet you back at the end. Okay, so I've reached the end of the row, I'm on my last stitch. So as I mentioned before, you're going to insert your hook through both loops over pull three or three. So you now have two rows um, of this uh, headband. So we've got the first row of half double crochet into the chain and then into the back loop. To continue working your headband, you're just gonna repeat row two. So that's half double crochet in the first stitch and then back loop, half double crochet in each stitch across until the end and then half double crochet 
through both loops on the last stitch. For an adult headband, you want to work approximately 10 rows, um, depending on how wide you want your headband to be. For a child, I normally work about eight rows, um, but that's really up to you. You can just measure it as you go. So can carry on for an adult, carry on for 10 rows, um, and then I'll show you how to do the twist. Okay, I'm actually showing you how to do the twist on a, on a child headband that I made um, previously, just to, to save time. So you can see I've got the eight rows um, and this one's slightly smaller. So what you wanna do is to thread um, your tail end through your darning needle, and then you take both ends, and then you're gonna insert this end here and then wrap that around. And then you're gonna wrap this bit underneath. Okay, so they sort of interlock into each other. You're then going to take your darning needle, and you're going to insert it through all four pieces, and then just pull through there. So you want to work this back and forth to secure it. So working through all four pieces, just sew your headband together. Be a bit tricky at the ends. Make sure you get it right up to the end there as well. That's important so you don't have any loose bits. And then just go back again one more time. So you just want to secure your ends. I normally do this by sort of picking up a few stitches and then making a knot so that ties it off and then just weave your ends in back and forth a few times so that they don't come undone. And this will be on the inside of your headband so you shouldn't be able to see it. Fasten that off. Okay, and I'll just weave in this other end. So I normally just tuck this one to the other side and then weave it in over here. Right, and there we have it. Let's turn it inside out and you can see we've created a really nice twist. There. And that is your final headband. Uh, enjoy guys. You can um, get kits for these headbands, you can get everything you need, the hook, the yarn, a darning needle and the printed instructions on my Etsy shop um, and the pattern is available written up um, on my website. So uh, enjoy and let me know how you get on.